Today's lesson is on a couple of extra fills at the beginner level. We have two fills so far. We have two on each drum going around, either to the right or to the left, depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed. And we have four on each drum, 16th notes. Same thing, going either direction. Okay, today we're going to go over a drop and a flam that are used all over the place in rock and roll drumming. And you can add them in tastefully when you do your fills at the beginning of songs, at the end of songs. You will find people do various versions of the drop at the end of songs in rock and roll all the time. The drop is from high to low, starting on the snare drum and ending on the bass drum. Okay? It is a 16th note triplet, technically. And what you do is you get used to the coordination dropping down from high to low. Okay? What you want to do is practice it over and over until it feels comfortable. A real common way to do it is starting with your right hand on the snare drum, if you're right-handed, left hand on the high tom, then the right hand hits on the floor tom, then the bass drum. <laughs> two bass drums at the end. There's a lot of different variations of the drop. You could do it all on the floor tom-tom. You can do a variation on the tom-tom. A lot of different ways to do it. Okay, but the coordination of your hands and your foot is what you want to work on. Okay? Our second extra fill is the flam. And it can be used in all kinds of places. You can use it in the middle of a song to accentuate a certain part. You can use it at the end. The slam is two hits next to each other, usually on the snare drum. doesn't have to be. The first one being a little bit softer than the second one. Okay? You can do two bass drums in front of it. A lot of people will end a song that way. Okay, you can use it in the middle of a beat. A lot of different places you can put a flam. One fun way to add the drop and the flam together is to play the drop first with two bass drums ending in a flam. Lots of different variations you can use, but adding the drop and the flam into your drumming as a vocabulary. It's almost like you want to have a pull-down menu of fills and a pull-down menu of beats and be able to put them together in your playing in a way that sounds really cool. You can do this. Work on it slowly and get the coordination, and we'll keep moving forward.